I take it this is your the real objection that it you, uh, do do you want to say that it makes no sense to assign an object to a variable in a formula in the scope of a box the sign of necessity that is there's no saying I mean uh, whether the number nine is necessarily odd apart from the way in which you refer to the number nine if you refer to it as the number nine you call it the number nine then when you substitute that name in you get something that's plausibly true when you substitute the number of the planets in, you get something that's plausibly false but you is it your view then that there's no sense at all in saying of a certain number regardless of how it's described that it's necessarily even exactly so the problem then isn't quantifying in so much as the idea of assigning objects to variables in formulas beginning with uh, a box yes yes, yes. What, what, what I've called referential position mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could you say a little bit more about why that notion makes no sense? Why we can't discuss the question whether 9 is necessarily odd? Why is that? Uh, because the uh, uh, number of the planets is not necessarily odd, uh, from the point of view, that is, of people who uh, accept the notion of necessity. And there's another aspect of this whole problem, because I go farther in this case, unlike the case of propositional attitudes, and find no place for uh, a, uh, a concept of necessity in the sense of it being a concept to do a logic about. Uh, uh, I th understand necessity as uh, the, the, the use of the uh, adverb necessarily. Uh, said, uh, it's uh, clear enough uh, uh, to, to suit me when it's uh, used as we ordinarily use it. Uh, which is always something relative to the particular situation of our uh, of our discourse. Uh, necessarily this because, uh, well, as we saw in the preceding page, uh, in contrast to what I'm about to try to justify, uh, such context, or uh, necessarily in the sense that well, uh, both parties to the discussion uh, agree to that much, but uh, what we're wondering about then from there on. Uh, so, uh, so I don't feel the uh, attraction of trying to rig up uh, the uh, modal logic of necessity or any other logic of necessity in such a way as to get around these difficulties. I have felt that need in the case of the propositional attitudes, which are so indispensable. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 to, uh, I've been comforted by uh, uh, having been able at least to cut that uh, domain in half and uh, uh, accept uh, 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 in my extensional uh, uh, scheme the uh, de dicto versions. But in the case of necessity, I haven't found it something to worry about at all. There is, uh, uh, I might say, uh, in, in fact, uh, this work of yours, George, uh, uh, showing that, uh, that the structure of modal logic, that formal system, if you get uh, simply dispense with these uh, debatable uh, interpretations, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, 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 suspicious or uh, uh, uncomfortable notion of, ne of necessity. Uh, give another interpretation to the symbols, uh, you, you've, you get something which you've been finding is uh, uh, useful in the mathematical uh, treatment of mathematical proofs. Uh, well, good. Uh, it's nice to be able to, to uh, f find a useful byproduct. So it is somewhat ironic that something that was designed to study a notion that you at any rate would regard as uh, not scientifically respectable has turned out to have to, to be illuminating in the uh, in one of the central areas of logic that is that is uh, ironic and gratifying to me at any rate yes um, could you say a little bit more about what your preference for the notions of intentionality over those of necessity uh, um, is it just the notions like belief desire, hope, no, and the rest of them are just so indispensable mm -hmm. that they have to be accommodated somehow. That's it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Professor Kwan, I wonder if I can just uh, follow up uh, George Boulos's question by asking this. Is it uh, more that there's some purely logical problem about uh, 
about modality, or more that you have no use for the notion. Let me put it this way. Supposing that uh, somebody thought they did have a use for the notion and looked at the semantics of modal logic and then offered um, a completely realistic construal of the uh, possible world semantics in the way that David Lewis does. Now, you might find this um, populating of our ontology with uh, further worlds similar in character to um, us and all our surroundings. You might find that um, a very, very bold empirical conjecture. In fact, you might find it one that you thought was false. But would there be actually any logical problem? Uh, no, I think not. Uh, uh, and uh, yes, you'll you put your finger on it. it, it uh, I, would, uh, I would feel it's not worth the price. <clears throat> uh, so this would have to be some, the, the, the discovery of some really uh, uh, very profound and important uh, utility of uh, necessity to Justify all that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Van, I wanted to ask some questions about the nature of logic and the boundaries that separate logic, properly so called, from other other areas um, of inquiry. Um, in uh, 1940, you published a book with the title "Mathematical Logic," in which you set forth a system of set theory. Later on, your view uh, was, or later on, you, you uh, uh, expressed the view that uh, logic is pretty much to be identified with uh, what's called the first order predicate calculus with quantification theory. Was there any change of view between 1940 and your say, post-war writings on the nature of logic? Uh, no, no, I think not. Uh, the situa uh, situation was rather this. Uh, the tradition coming down from Frege through Russell, Russell, of course, uh, Russell uh, and Whitehead had been my main uh, introduction to the whole domain, and then continuing through Carnap, all these were using the term logic inclusively to include all of, uh, of uh, set theory uh, and uh, uh, therefore, in view of the reduction of the rest of mathematics to set theory, which uh, uh, Russell and uh, Whitehead had undertaken to establish, uh, uh, all mathematics, uh, so that uh, all mathematics was reduced to logic, so-called. Um, and uh, um, al uh, already in, uh, in uh, mathematical logic, I, f I found uh, uh, more recently in looking back, look, uh, um, I make the point that uh, something to this effect, uh, that because of this, that, and the other, that uh, uh, the term that one might well consider that the, uh, the term logic is appropriately uh, uh, to be restricted to that uh, lower level uh, and separated from mathematics. Uh, and uh, uh, so I felt it should, but I was, uh, uh, I, I was bowing to was for me traditional usage. I thought it was just necessary to point out that there are, are uh, really fundamental differences there that the break at the uh, end of, of uh, uh, quantification theory and, uh, um, and identity. Uh, but then, uh, um, I can, of course, I continued to feel that way. And by the time I was doing uh, 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 methods of logic uh, ten, 10 years later, uh, I uh, suited the action to the word. Um. I'm wondering if there's anything to be said, if you think there's anything useful to be said um, on the topic of why certain notions count as distinctively logical notions. Many uh, writers such as uh, Gilbert Ryle have pointed out that logic seems to enjoy something that he happily, I think, called topic neutrality. Other writers have pointed to the fact that logical notions occur in all sorts of discourse, uh, thought, s speech, writing. Can't say anything really without using logical notions. Is there anything sensible to be said on this matter? Yes, I think so. The, the second uh, view uh, is expressed by, by Tarski. Uh, and uh, I, yes, I, I agree with them. I think that's part of uh, what distinguishes logic. Uh, another th another trait of logic uh, that I find characteristic is what I've called uh, potential uh, obviousness. 
that uh, every, everything valid is either uh, valid on site or uh, can be made uh, uh, to be seen as uh, valid by uh, a series of steps, each of which is valid, uh, each of which is, tr tr is obvious on site.